This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Houston Astros. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the Fall Classic, Siggy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here and towing the slab in this one, Justin Verlander. Boogie showed me something. Really battled, pitched deep into that ball game. Eight plus innings. Didn't get the win. Couldn't get enough run support. But you shake that off, you come out today and try to have the same type of performance. Game one, and we are ready to go. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Up tonight for Philadelphia. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. So we're off and running in game one. Kevin Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One out in the top of the first. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone and for me it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand not tracking it into the zone and then also being a little bit anxious not confident in your two strike approach and so when a guy's in that position you get him to commit early and a lot of times you get the swing and miss as you did right there and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish Hoskins pushes it foul No score just getting started top of the first. Packed house here at Minute Maid. One down, base is empty. Lifted in the air, right field. Tucker settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. Batting third, the catcher, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto steps in. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. That is the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And now the Astros go to work for the first time. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on. We go to the bottom of the first. And on the mound today, Aaron Nola. What do we need to know here? Yeah, but last time out, got into the fourth inning. The key to his success today, he's got to throw first pitch strikes, get ahead in the count. I think that'll get him into position to qualify for a win. Back here in Houston, Jose Altuve up to hit here. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Ball in one now. And it's fouled away. Next offering upstairs. 
One and two now. Altuve waits. On a line. Base hit. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, Flair, Duck Snort, Lawn Dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. And now here is Jeremy Pena in there and it's 0-1. And a pitch. Strike two. 0-2 oh, Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off-speed away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Altuve on at first. Nobody out. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes that out, he hurt. saw a lot of pitches no and he hurt. battled. And this is a long haul where oh, you're trying man. to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Oh, one down. Altuve runs. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Ripped on a line. Marsh makes the grab, and there's two down. Marsh quickly gets it back in as the go-ahead runner pulls up at third. Batting for the third baseman, Allen. Now it's Alex Bregman. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Singy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. So the Astros leave one. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Houston at the play. Bryce Harper. Well, it's pretty clear that he was frustrated, and even he admitted as much with his performance in their last series, but now a chance to hit the reset button. That's one of the things he's going to have to get used to, being the superstar player in this lineup. They are going to pitch you very tough, and you make the adjustment, you can have success. I think you'll have it in this one. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. Next offering is fouled back. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Going to count one and two. One and two. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. That is it. The right fielder, number eight. Nick. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Foul ball there. Pitch. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. 
Maldonado collects, fires to first, and it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Alec Bohm. Hit hard on the ground to short. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Down quickly, go to Phillies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Leading off, Kyle Tucker. Nola back to work. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Here comes the pitch. And that one handled. Over to first. And Tucker is retired. That exists. The first baseman. Corey Lee. Here's Corey Lee. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Second inning here, no score. Pitch misses inside, and it's one and one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And two away now. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, that's sort of pitch you're open for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Top half of the third inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Rice and Stock. The shortstop, Bryson Stop. Verlander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That one lifted in the air, center field. McCormick makes the play, and there's one down. Gene Segura at the plate here. Now fly ball to right center. Tucker makes his way towards it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting none. The center fielder, number 16, Brandon. Two outs, base is empty. Marsh. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. McCormick under it, and that'll do it. Phillies go down quietly in the inning, and we are. And welcome back. And now the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And a foul ball. 
And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. The rope into right, and that's a base hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you the gotta pitcher. make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Next offering is down low, and it's 1-0. And a 1-0. And a swing and a miss there. There's the strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. In the air, left field. Schwarber makes the catch, and there's one away. Now back. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Okay. Good contact oh, guy, good okay. defender, and fouled off. McCormick stands at first with one out. Next pitch has popped up. Segura drifts towards it. And yeah, there's two away. The batter, number three. Shortstop, Jeremy. Pena. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And there's the strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Bounce to the left side. They take the force out, inning over. One left for Houston, and we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back. Out of the fourth. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And the right hater back to work. That one pulled foul. But why to kick the pitch? And there's a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Maldonado to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Now batting. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Rolled over to third. Sends it to Lee, and that's an out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the now air. Back. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. Could have a really good day out there on the mound. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. The pitch. And 1 and 2. The Phils yet to pick up a hit here. Out towards right center field. Tucker has a beat on it. And that is that. Phillies down in order. Still no score. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Digging in, your Don Alvarez. And a pitch. Here's a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. 
And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about Third the baseman, process. He did everything right, right Allen. there. Nothing to show for it. Bregman. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Bregman stands in now and watches strike one. On the ground to the left. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle. One gone runner at first. And next to hit for Houston, Kyle Tucker. Bregman runs. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he grabs it. Foul. Ground ball left side could be two. Boom. Over to second. And it's a double play to end the inning. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. Wind in the pitch. And that one fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Swung on, belted. On its way. That one is gone. Bryce Harper goes deep. The Phillies score first. It's 1 0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The right fielder, number eight. Nick. And a pop-up, right young. side, foul territory. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Right hander deals. Strike two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. 0 oh, 2 now. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. Bounced out to short. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Just down a bat. cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream Allen. about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Down the third baseman, Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. Wing and a ball lifted in the air left field pretty well struck that's back up against the wall and he makes the catch the batter number five shortstop Bryson Scott Bryson Stock getting ready to hit. He's over one. 
And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. The batter number two, second baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. This one high in the air to left center. McCormick ranges to his right. Brings it in for the third out. So the Phillies strike first with a solo home run. It's now 1-0. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Corey Lee. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient, take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout and one gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Mancini batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Out there to center. March settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Now batting. Center fielder. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. In there for strike one. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Little dribbler up along third. Boom. Collects. Zips it to first. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. One, two, three. Go the Astros. And it remains one up. Back here in Houston. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Brandon Marsh. And a foul ball. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch is in the dirt, and that is ball one. And the righty deals. Foul ball. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And here it comes. Stays alive. He swings and fouls one off. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Alvarez moving under it. Makes the grab. One up, one down. Now batting. Left fielder. Kyle Schwarber. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. You'll one. 
Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Kyle Schwarber blasts one out the other way, and they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Up next for Philadelphia, the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. First offering misses the mark. Kicks and deals. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And that one is going to go. Another one. Back to back homers. And they add to their lead. It's 3 0. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And now it is JT Real Muto. Up next for Philadelphia, the catcher. In the air to left center, McCormick under this one. Brings it in, and there are two outs. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Bryce Harper. Harper in the box again, takes the strike. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And he'll won. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. And he'll two. And a foul ball. Two outs. That one fouled off. The 0 2. And there's a ball. One, two now. That's down and in. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. That's not human. That's fantastic. Moving like magic. That's just sick. The throw, the shot, the move, the catch, the kick. They make him say, that's just sick. Because you play in the Back here in Houston, bottom of the sixth inning. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Martin Maldonado. The Astros in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. Nola back to work. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He sends it out of here. And they slice into the lead. It's 3-1.
Hitters today are looking to pull the ball and get it in the air. Even on a breaking ball away is a nice job of staying square to the plate, allowing his arms to get extended and get good wood to it. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Now batter. The second baseman. And that's in there for strike one. But he's got to delete it. He gave up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. A little roller up along first. And he grabs it in foul ground. Got him. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him no up on three. the inside part of the plate. Sure Couldn't get around on it and Caravan. catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Now it's going to be Jeremy Pena. March makes the catch two away down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. So up next, you're Don Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. In there, and it's 0-1. Got him looking, and that is that. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And this is now a three-one ball game. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Brian Abreu. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Top of inning number seven, and now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. The right fielder, Nick Castellanos. The wind of the pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Blake Taylor appears to be getting loose. Yo, Juan. Swing and a miss as he was late. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Maldonado to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Now batting. Here's the, the third, third baseman, baseman, Alec Ball. Alec. Ball. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at-bat? <laughs> Next pitch just misses. And the count, one and two. Kicks and fires. Out towards left center. McCormick settles under it. Makes the grab. Two down. The batter, number five. Short stop. Bryson. Stop. Two outs. Base is empty. And now the shortstop. Bryson stop. First pitch, not close. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right-handed reliever. And now the count is even. 
had to tell two and two. Lifted in the air, right center field. McCormick should have this one. And the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they still lead it 3-1. Bottom of the inning, down the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Leading up for the Astros, the third baseman, Alex Bregman. His first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at bat. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit right quick. Field, Front shoulder Tony. open. Backside not collapsed not. a little bit. And the launch angle not, not where he needed it to be. Here's Kyle Tucker. That's towards center. March on the move. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting. First baseman. Corey. Corey Lee digs Lee. in now. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one's in there on one. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Next offering is downstairs. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. The pitch. That's inside. <laughs> Slapped foul. The pitch. Good eye right there. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Right through there. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. Astros go down one, two, three, and they still trail it here, three to one. Blake Taylor on the pitch out of the pen here, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Gene Segura now at the plate. And a pitch. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He'll touch them all, and they boost their lead. It's 4-1. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Here's a speed threat, Brandon Marsh. Now batting, the center fielder, Brandon Marsh. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Back up the middle. On to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Now batting. The left fielder. Kyle Schwarber.
fly ball right field Tucker under it calls it in two away maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it first baseman number 17 Reese Hoskins Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now four. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Trey Mancini now. Leading up for the Astros. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Jose Alvarado. Trying to protect this lead. Here comes a pitch. And ball one. At the belt and fire. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Swing and a miss. Two and two. And down on strikes. Now one away. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. One for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good eye right there. And the pitch. There's the swing and a miss. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And another ball. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Now and the batter now, Martin Maldonado. He's already homered in this game. Swings through that one, 0-1. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches. Now and that's what a good power base pitcher base. can do to you. He's okay. hitting the spots, filling up the strike zone. Oh, Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. So two down now. And here is Jose Altuve. First offering and it just misses. Ground ball to the right side. What a play. In and over. So the Astros lead one, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Phil Maton takes over on the mound, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Maton. We go to the ninth, and digging in for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto. The catcher, JT Real Muto. And the pitch. Just foul of third. Yo one. Way out front for strike two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. And now in a two strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. The corner brings it in, one away. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Bryce Perfect.
Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The pitch. Popped up. Lee moving under this one. He's got it. There's two away. The right fielder. Two outs, bases empty. Nick. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos for the fourth time tonight. Fought off foul. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. This guy's pounding this zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Here's the 0 2. Up the middle. Sends it to Lee. And that is the third out of the inning. 2 3 4 set to hit in the bottom of the nut. It's the Phillies 4 and the Astros 1. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, David Robertson. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. The shortstop, Jeremy Pena. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Robertson, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. The 0 2. Bounce to third. Boom. Goes on to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, to pretty much forget about. It. Here's Jordan Alvarez. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Oh, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. And now it's Alex Bregman. That's the third. Boom. Collects it. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Phillies claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. These guys had the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. So Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us.